So current state of the art for content loading is that there's a, lo a bunch of touch labor. Yep. Once a month, the maintenance guys are maintaining the servers on the individual aircraft mm -hmm. with high density drives. Yep. So they actually have to sneaker net it around and put a month's worth of content Amazing, right? onto We're their, still doing onto that. their so to me that's like blockbuster video. <laughs> right. Hey honey, go get a movie. 20 minutes later I come home and they didn't have the movie we wanted, so we watched the one that we didn't want to watch. So it's really hard to believe it's still being done that way, okay. in my opinion. So we came up with a concept to utilize Li-Fi to change the content every time the aircraft comes into the gate. So it starts with an app. Yeah. Um, Imagine that the airline has a huge server with all the content they could possibly have, not just limited to what you can fit on an airplane. So now you have more extensive amount of content, which is good. Most people use their app to check into their flight 24 hours in advance. Yeah. What we've done is we've created a opportunity to pre-select your in-flight entertainment. Okay. So here we go. I've checked into my flight. Yep. It knows I'm Mark Schwartz and I sit in 12A. So I'm going to go ahead while I'm waiting for my flight and say, I want to watch a couple of movies. I think I'll watch Game of Thrones. I think that I will watch a basketball game. And I'm going to go ahead and do a cooking class mm -hmm. while I'm on the plane. And look, there's my cue. So right now, right now the, the airline server content is making a mirror image of the server that's on my flight. Right? right. So it knows that I've just ordered 60 gigabits of content to enjoy on my flight. Okay. Oh, yeah, by the way. I'd like McDonald's delivered too. Because since it's every turn of the aircraft, why can't you do that, right? right? So now, here's the other cool thing. This is Google now. The airline app is learning more about me as a passenger, mm -hmm. and they're gonna be a better airline for me because now they know I like Game of Thrones, mm -hmm. I like McDonald's, I like cooking. So now they can do ads and generate revenue off their app and in addition to all the extra traffic and then once you get on the plane we can show them more ads as well so if you look this is simulating the screen that would be on the plane yeah. and here you see all the movies if you notice the movies I ordered are all here yeah. right and it's exactly what I want delivered to my seat Personalized for yeah. your experience. so here's what happens next <laughs> yeah. this flight is over now it's our turn. The airplane comes into the gate. This is Li Fi. <laughs> While they're flipping the, the plane over, all the passengers that are up here's content yeah. is taking that mirror image from the main server and dropping it onto the local server. Well, guess what? You don't need a month's worth of content anymore, so you can have a much smaller, more efficient, less power, less hot server. So less expensive for the airlines. I'm only carrying one flight of content now. So guess what? I can have a much wider variety of content because I'm not cr trying to carry a month's worth that 80% of the people don't even watch most of it anyway. And if you're a frequent flyer, there's no no nothing more frustrating than getting on a plane over the course of a month over and over again. It's all the same stuff. Right. I've already seen it. Very true. It's irritating. Here's the cool thing about Li-Fi though. Remember what we said over there. It's line of sight. The only way you could hack it is if you literally ran out here with a device and got into the light. You can't. Oh, right. It's not of RF. It's right. not going everywhere. Right? It's also super fast. It's 13 gigabits per second. That means if there's 200 passengers with 60 gigabits each, I can download that in nothing, nothing flat. The other thing is, it's, since it's totally secure, in addition to IFE, I can go ahead and every turn of the aircraft download maintenance records, health of the aircraft, even the e-commerce stuff, like when I ordered McDonald's, crew information okay. because again it can't be hacked it can't be jammed it's line of sight wow. and it's really fast what if 
you don't want to change the air port. Let's say you don't want to grind up the cement and install the transceiver receiver mm -hmm. in the ground, then I can go ahead and put it on one of the luggage carts or the food cart or whatever. When it comes over, you'll see that it'll, it can connect and download. There's also other options too. Remember when I said any LED can be modulated and Wi-Fi enabled. So we already make, Astronics already makes LED based landing lights, for example. So there's no reason these, these can't be Wi-Fi enabled. They're already on the aircraft. Yes, you would have to wire them to the server, but you would have the external part of it done, right? Because you can modulate these. Okay. Again, you can use wingtip lights, landing lights. You could do a connection to the terminal itself. You could do a connection from the jet bridge. So while it is kind of a hardship that you got to change the airport facility, um, if you think about the ROI of eliminating all that touch labor, plus happy passengers that you're learning a lot about, it's totally worth it. And the last thing is it takes the stress off the SATCOM system. Right. Why would you pay tons of money for satellite time streaming things when you can do it more intelligently on the ground by flipping the server every turn? Right, okay, so it kind of changes that value proposition as well then move it at, at the gate Correct. At a fraction of the price. Correct. Um, and of course, Astronix then is uniquely positioned to it really support is. this given your entire Here's portfolio. Why. Think about our portfolio. Yeah. We own interior lighting. Yeah. We own the PSUs, which are the lights over your head. We own all the wingtip landing lights and all the external lighting on the aircraft. We're the connectivity guys. We're the IFE and IFC providers. So it really, this technology is going to go mainstream. It's just a matter of time, in my opinion. And I think we're super well situated because of all those other complementary technologies, the enablers. We, we own the enablers. Okay, thank you.